Hey guys, and um, welcome back to the first paint tutorial I'm going to try doing on the channel. And today we are going to sh paint the uh, the black armor for my Dark Angels Legion. So for this video, we're going to be using uh, three Contemptor Dreadnoughts from the uh, the Dark Angels Legion build video series. And as you can see, I've assembled the miniatures and I have sprayed them with Chaos Black Spray. Now, the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to paint them all with um, Abaddon Black because Chaos Black has a slightly different finish to uh, Abaddon Black from the pot. So if we make a mistake, it's going to be very easy just to go back over with a bit of Abaddon Black and just touch it up and that will hide everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, water it down well. I've got this uh, Windsor & Newton brush here that I picked up my local hobby supply shop and a uh, nice flat tip on it. It's good for holding paint. I just want to put some on the palette and um, just m maybe add a little extra water to it. You can see that it's nice thin consistency, sort of milky. I just want to give it a quick, uh, quick brush over all the, uh, the models. Just get a nice even coverage. Um, I find painting like this, by the time you have the uh, the, thir the the last model painted, the first one has sort of dried. So you just want to get it over. Just make sure you cover everything that's that's really going to be seen. You don't need to worry about things that aren't going to be seen, like the underside of, of things. And just get it all on there. Okay, so we've got the Abaddon Black on the uh, three dreadnoughts. It's time to go and apply the first uh, the first dry brush color. So for this, I'm using a uh, just a plain old makeup brush for this because it's got a it's got a nice round head on it. It's uh, it's just ideal for dry brushing. It doesn't give too like too harsh of of a of a color. And you can pick these up like really cheap in your local pennies or Primark, uh, your your two euro shop. Uh, and the first color that we're going to be using on this is Dark Reaper. So just give it a bit of a shake there and uh, get it open. Uh, get it onto your brush. Just put it in your palette. Make sure that you uh, work it into the uh, the bristles of the brush because uh, you just want to make sure that your, your brush is, is fully loaded with the paint. Get a, get a bit of kitchen paper and wipe off most of the paint. So this is uh, looking pretty good now. Um, make sure it's well worked in there. Get your miniature. And maybe start somewhere that it's not going to be, you know, too obvious to begin with. Uh, I'm picking the carapace. Uh, so just well, nice and lightly over the whole thing. And remember, to build it up, it's, it's much easier to build it up slowly than go too harsh with it and the next thing is you, you realize oh i've gone too much here i can't you can't do anything about it you have to like repaint the whole area with chaos black and or abaddon black beg your pardon and uh redo it again so you just want to work your way around the miniature uh catching all those edges of the black armor even down around the the, the ankles and the, the feet uh in around there the the waist section shoulders the backpack just get it nice even coverage uh all the areas make sure that you uh you don't miss the uh the head the head is sort of tucked away in there in that little cubby and it's easy enough to uh to miss it you just want to work your way around so with the dark reaper done we want to uh, move on to our next highlight and we're going to do a uh, thunderhawk blue for this now we don't even need to worry about washing the dry brush we can just go straight into the pot um give it a shake get straight in there get it onto the dry brush um work it into the bristles again and again by the time you have your third model painted or your last model depending on how you're doing your first one will be dry uh so work it in there into the bristles uh and then don't forget to get your bit of kitchen paper get as much of that paint off as you can Give it a good brush on it there. Get it all off. That's starting to look pretty good there. And I think we're just about ready there now. So we'll... Yeah. Okay, so we get our dreadnought. And we'll uh, start dry brushing with the Thunderhawk Blue. Again, pick some place that's 
not going to be seen too quickly. So I'll just pick the backpack there and just lightly dry brush the top edges of this. Just picking out the highest areas just to give that highlight there just to really show off the, the corners again. Don't forget about the face. Yeah, right in there. Just work your way around all your miniatures and do this. I, I, will, I, I find that this is best for um, the likes of walkers and vehicles. Um, large groups of infantry are okay as well, but for independent characters or, you know, showcase units, you, I would be using edge highlighting. So that's, uh, that's that done there. And I'm just going to work our way around on all the, uh, the dreadnoughts and uh, get a nice finish. It's also worth noting that when you're dry brushing like that, just don't go overly hard on it because sometimes you'll have small details maybe hanging off and uh, if you're a little overzealous with your dry brush you will end up snapping things off. You may even snap it off a base and look at it's just more headaches that you just don't want. And we're going to move on to our third dreadnought here now. This is the, uh, the Forge World contemporary dreadnought this is such a beautiful miniature the detail on it is just fantastic um i was so glad that i picked it up um and uh, just i can really say nothing bad about it it just it's it's an absolutely brilliant miniature i just can't wait to get into to painting all the detail on it so we just work our way around picking up all those those layered details on the shoulders um carapace with the with the detailing of the wings on it you, you don't have to worry too much about uh getting in there to paint but uh shoulders the head the backpack and uh the legs and the uh the, the hip armor you know they're all major areas that you want to make sure you pick out so again just take your time work your way around it But it really is as quick and easy as that. And with that, we are practically done. So that's it. That's the armor painted on the uh, the three dreadnoughts. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add some wear and tear and paint chip into it. And for that, I'm going to use a small bit of sponge because a uh, sponge I find is really great for it because it um, it puts a sort of a nice random pattern. So I'm going to get myself a little paintbrush and I'm going to use some shabdi bone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little mix on the palette of um, one part of shabdi bone, one part of Thunderhawk blue. And beside it, I'm just going to have pure Thunderhawk blue. And the idea here is that we sponge on some Thunderhawk blue. And when it dries, we will come along and we will sponge on uh, a very small bit of the, um, the Shabdi Bone Thunderhawk blue mix over it. Just give it a lighter look. So we just mix those two colours together there. And you see how light it's looking beside the Thunderhawk blue. Perfect. So just rinse off my brush here. Give you a good rinse. And we go and we uh, get our bit of sponge, put a bit off that we want. Roll it up into a little ball. You can use a tweezers if you want for this. I'm just using my fingers because uh, the dreadnoughts are their big enough area. And just something like that. And you just come along and dip it in the Thunderhawk blue, clean it off a little bit on your uh, your tissue, your kitchen roll. And then you get your dreadnought and you just want to come along and just sponge it on there in just random spots.
and it'll just give that worn beaten appearance and again just work your way around the miniature now don't forget for something like this these things are walking headlong into enemy fire so you have to think to yourself where is the most of the uh, damage going to be and it's going to be on the front facing of it there may be a small bit on the sides but generally it's going to be on the front of these and that's where you really want to be concentrating your weathering so we've got the thunderhawk blue on now we're going to come along and we're going to put a little bit of the uh, the mix on and again just work your way around little spots here and there again don't go too hard with it it's very easy to add more but it's at this stage it's an absolute nightmare to uh, to take it off That's it, and we'll move on to our next one and clean the sponge off. And just work your way around the whole thing. Okay, so while I'm uh, sponging around here, um, I just went a little too hard on the carapace. And uh, I just want to show you how easy now it is to fix that up with uh, the fact that we've put the Abaddon Black on at the start. So we come along, we get a small brush, and we have a little bit of Abaddon Black on the palette. So we just come along and try and put a little bit on there, brush, and then just very carefully, just touch it on over the, uh, the mistake, just tip it in there, and it masks it all off, and you can show, leave a little bit shown in the, through the black and it will just look like the rest of your weathering and it is literally that simple when it dries it is invisible all good in the hood